solving inequalities by combining like terms. Okay, so in this first uh, example, we have y plus y plus 2 is less than or equal to 18. So combining like terms are looking for the terms that have the same variables. So in this case, we have this y and this y here, and we're going to combine it by using addition since we have two positive uh, terms. Uh, we imagine that there's a 1 in front of each of those y's, so we have a y, 1 y here, 1 y here, becomes 2 y. Right, we want to get a different color right here. We're going to combine these two together, and so this becomes 2 y plus 2 less than or equal to 18. And so now it's a two-step equation, and we want to uh, cancel the constant. So the constant here is the plus 2. We use the inverse operation, which is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 2 from the plus 2, which cancels out and becomes 0. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side over here, to this 18. So I get 18. And 18 minus 2 is 16. Bring down the inequality and the 2y that's still left over here. And I still want to continue isolating my variable. It's being multiplied by 2. So the inverse of that is to divide by 2. And that cancels out. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to divide the 16 by 2 as well. So I end up with y is less than or equal to 8. There. Okay, so to graph it, we look at the inequality. We want y is less than or equal to 8. So it's a closed circle over 8. And we want everything less than it, so it's going over here to the left because all these numbers are less than. Okay, so now you try this one right here. Um, pause the video, work it out, and see what you get. So pause and solve, and then see what you get. Okay, so if you got this solution in this graph, then you are ready to move on. If not, Pause it and try working it out again. Okay, here's example number two. Let's go ahead and solve this one. Again, we need to combine like terms, or we can combine like terms, which here are like terms are the plus 2n and the plus n. So we are combining these two together. So again, we imagine there's a 1 in front of that when there's no coefficient, it's a co coefficient of 1. So together, that will be 3n, and it's positive. And bring down the minus 3, bring down the symbol, and the 9. So now it's a two-step equation, and we want to solve that equation. We want to eliminate the constant, and in this case, the constant is located right here. It's a negative 3. The inverse of that is to add 3. So those will cancel out right there. And whatever I do to one side, here's our inequality. We're going to add the 3 to the 9 on this side. So we end up with 12 less than or equal to 3n. We still want to isolate this variable n that's being multiplied by 3 so the inverse of that is to divide by 3 so I'm going to divide 3 to both sides these 3's cancel out leaving me with the n the less than or equal to symbol and 12 divided by 3 is 4 so this is my solution which I need to graph so this is 4 is less than or equal to all these numbers. So since it's equal to, it is a closed circle. And 4 has to be less than all the numbers. So 4 is less than 5. So these are all the numbers that make the solution. Because we want all the numbers at 4 are less than.
Okay, so you try this problem, so you pause and solve and check if you get the right answer. Okay, so you should have gotten this solution and this graph. If you did, then you're ready to move on. If not, pause again and rework it out until you can get this answer.